If you enjoyed this presentation, please remember to hit like and subscribe to the channel. As I sit on the boat on this marvellous expanse of water, it's incredible to think I'm only a short drive from the city of Kuala Lumpur. We're fishing today on the Prima Lake on the outskirts of the city. It's my first time here, and I'm looking forward to learning about the tactics to target the fish that reside here. The lake is formed in the site of a disused tin mine that naturally filled with water to form what is now known as the Prima Lake. There are a few species resident in Prima, including the Tawman or Giant Snakehead, but today we are targeting the lake's peacock bass. My guide today is David from Urban Assault Fishing. David knows the fishing in this area very well, and I'm sure we're going to get some peacock bass onto the boat. I'm told the fish tend to lie deep, so we're fishing a fast sinking line with weighted flies. I set up a six weight rod with a seven inch per second line. I have a selection of flies that have been recommended for bass. Many are typical of the flies I've used in salt water for barramundi and bonefish, like Crazy Charlie's, Clouser's, and Surf Candy. We're going to work the margins of the lake and focus on the drop offs where the peacocks will be hunting. It's a case of casting and letting the line sink into the grass bed and then strip the fly through the grass. I'm going to vary the depth and the speed and style of the retrieve and see if I can induce a fish to take the fly. David tells me this setup with the heavy lines and sinking flies works very well because a full sinking line presents a perfect profile on the lake bed. This simulates the peacock's prey in the soft grass that lines the lake bed. Head out to the east of the lake and have a few casts towards the reeds off the near bank. The water here is quite deep, maybe 10 feet, and it's probably still a little cold at this early time of the day. We don't have much success here, so we decide to move to the west side of the lake where the water is shallower and the water will be a bit warmer. It was a good decision and we hook a fish into grass beds close to the shore. It surfaces quite quickly and I get a look at my first peacock bass. The colours on these fish are spectacular, and I'm delighted that we managed to bring this one to the net. The peacocks here are not the monsters that reside in South America, but they're strong for their size and this one put up a good account of itself. I'm delighted to have landed my first peacock bass, and I'm equally happy to see him swim away strong. We follow the shoreline and get lucky and hook into a second peacock. This one's smaller than the first, but I'm still delighted to get into another fish. We land him quickly and get him back into the water. We wind in here and move over to the peninsula of the lake in the north. It's an area I'd like to look of, and David tells me it can be quite prolific if the peacocks are in the mood. Casting out my sinking line, I count down to ensure the flies in the grass in the lake bed before slowly retrieving the fly. We hook into a fish using a strip and stop retrieve. I think it feels about the same size as the last one. I see it come to the surface and immediately recognise the colours of another peacock. 
He's another good fighter, and I'm delighted when we get this one to the boat. We have a few more casts and have some more success. This is a great spot to be fishing, and it's a tough decision to leave. We motor around the lake, stopping often for a cast when we see fish rising on the surface. The temperature is warming up and I'm really starting to feel the closeness of the heat and the humidity, but I'm determined to keep going and continue searching for our quarry. It's a wonderful experience to be out in the lake, chasing these wild breeding peacocks so close to an urban environment. There is quite a lot of work still going on around the lake, but when the work is finished, the completed lake will be a jewel in the crown of Kuala Lumpur. I hope to be able to come here and fish for years to come. David decides to take a chance and head to the open water in the north of the lake. This area is far from the shore, but the lake bed here is quite shallow, and the peacocks will often lie in the grass well away from the edges of the lake. I feel a fish grab the fly and it's on. This is definitely a bigger fish, and as it comes to the surface I see the now familiar colours of the peacock bass. This is a good sized fish, the biggest we've had yet, so I'm hoping we can get him in. It's a decent fish. David tells me there are peacocks here up to around 50 centimetres in length. This one's maybe 32, so it's a good fish for the lake and I'm absolutely delighted. We get a few photographs and get him back into the water and he swims away strongly and quick. The heaviness in the air has inevitably brought the rain and our trip here in the Prima Lake is over. As we head back to the jetty, I cast my mind back to an eventful day and the absolutely beautiful peacock bass that we caught. David has been both a tremendous guide and a fun guy to go fishing with. I look forward to coming out with David for another urban adventure just as soon as I can. <laughs>